everybody welcome back to my channel Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial today I'm going to teach you two different ways to do a magic ring we'll have the normal way and then kind of a double magic ring so that way it doesn't pull for when you're working into it um, if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel that way you'll be the first to know when I have new content that comes out um, thanks everybody continue watching this is two different ways to make a magic ring, or some people call it a magic circle. It's the same thing. So you take your tail end of your yarn in your hand, and then you take your ball end, and you wrap your ball end around your index finger and your middle finger. And then in the middle, you'll see you kind of have a cross or an X there. You take your hook underneath your tail end, and then you pull up your yarn. And then you bring that up and you make a chain one. And then from here, you go ahead and make, I'm going to do a half double crochet and you make it all around your loop there or your circle that you have made. And sometimes it can be a little bit hard and you have to wiggle your hook around and that's okay. So I'm going to make eight half double crochets into this circle that I have made. And again, you would do whatever your pattern says to do. And it can be, I tend to crochet a little bit too tight, honestly. So sometimes it can be hard getting your hook back through all three of those loops. And if you want to see the video on how to make a half double crochet, I will link that in uh, the description below. Again, I'm having a little bit of a hard time, but that's okay. Sometimes you kind of have to wiggle that hook in around to get it through all the stitches. Now I'm just counting how many I have, making sure that I have eight. And now I'm just pulling it tight right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip stitch into that first half double crochet I made. So I'm counting again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that eight one. It looks a little small there, but that is number eight. So you go through just that stitch they made, that half double crochet, you loop over and you pull through and then you pull through again. And then to start your next one, you would make a chain stitch. And you see how at the end there, I tightened it again just to make sure that it's nice and tight. And that is your first way how to do a magic ring or a magic circle. And then from there, you would just work your pattern. The second way to do a magic ring is ring is a lot like the first way. Now you're going to do the same thing you did the first way. You're going to hold the tail end of the yarn and then wrap your ball end around your index finger and thumb. But this time you're going to wrap it around two times instead of one time. And then you're going to repeat the same process as you did before by taking your hook underneath the tail end and grabbing up now the two loops are going under the two loops grabbing them up and then you're going to chain one just like you did before and now I'm going to work my half double crochet into the circle and I'm going to work right around both of those loops of yarn I'm going to kind of pretend that they're one loop of yarn instead of two and I'm going to again work eight into that Eight's usually a good uh, amount for me. That's what I like to start with a lot of times, especially when I do a beanie or something like that. Um, you can start with more, and sometimes I do, depending on what uh, size it's going to be, if it's going to be an infant or if it's going to be an adult. Now, once you get your eight made, you can go back. I always like to go back and count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that last little one, eight there. Now, this time, what you want to do is I always pull it, the tail just a little bit to see which loop it is that it's pulling. Now you want to pull your the one that was just pulled from your tail. You want to pull that one and you want to pull that other string. And you want to pull that as tight as you can. 
So you can get it maybe a little bit tighter even once you pull your tail end. And so what that does is that will keep it from working its way out. Because sometimes when you're working that magic circle, it will actually work its way out and it'll loosen up. And then you won't have, then you'll have like a hole there in the middle. And that just doesn't look very good for projects. So that's why you would want to do too. And I've noticed some of the, especially the shiny yarn will tend to work its way out. So then again, I just repeated that same process. I did a little slip stitch right there in that number eight. And now you just do your chain and then you start your half double crochet around and you do that per pattern. And this way it will not work its way loose and you'll have a nice tight magic ring there or magic circle so you can you don't have to worry about it coming out or coming loose and again that's especially um, important when you have more of a the shinier kind of yarn that you use everybody for watching my video on how to make a magic ring if you like what you saw please um, subscribe to my channel like comment if there's anything you would like to see please comment below and I will try to make it happen um, if you want to know what kind of crochet hooks that I use I'm gonna leave my Amazon affiliate link below I'm gonna leave the ones that I started out with and the ergonomic ones that I use now they're very very reasonably priced um, also if you want to follow me on social media please Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and I'll also leave my Etsy link below. And if you like this fabulous, fabulous crochet outfit that I'm wearing, the hat is from the Twisted Hatter. I will leave her, um, her link below. And then the bralette and the skirt pattern are from Keeps Calm and Crochets. And I will also leave the pattern link below for their pattern. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks.